Try counting my blessings. <laughs> well, that didn't take very long. <laughs> Bloody fitted sheets. They never stay put. Look at this. Three times I wiped my nose in this thingy with a handkerchief. <laughs> I make the bed tomorrow. I use a staple gun. <sighs> I've got a stomach ache now. Whereabouts? We're about in my left ear lobe. <laughs> and I feel sick into the bargain. Know what that is. But that dodgy pasta we had at your mother's last night. <laughs> I think we all knew we were in for a voyage of adventure. And you phoned up and told us to bring a decent pair of secateurs. <laughs> no, she doesn't speak a word of Italian. Working for that old magazine cutting with a list of ingredients. Turned out of the cast list with a godfather. <laughs> I shudder to think what she must have put in it. Parmesan cheese in a horse's head, judging by the taste. <laughs> Spaghetti al Pacino. Oof. Just give you a rain, a rest, and then perhaps you might drift off. Make your mind a complete blank. <sighs> I suppose. What's that film where when you go to sleep a man with spiky fingers comes through the wall and starts slashing your face to bits? A bridge too far. Is it? No, more recent than that. Hardy Kruger. Oh. You asleep. Margaret. <laughs> I think I might buy one of those sweaters tomorrow that Noel Edmonds wears. You're doing I'll kill myself. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? What? That strange hooting sound. Probably Mrs. Stebbings down the corner. No, it's that baby owl I told you about the other night, sitting person at telephone wires. Look at him, perched right over my car roof. <laughs> you just dare, matey boy. <laughs> He's thinking about it, you can tell. They will do. If you keep staring at him, you'll make him nervous. But why don't they spatter someone else's car? Why is it always mine? <laughs> he is going to, too. Look at him. He's getting into position. He's shifting himself around. <laughs> Any second now, he's definitely going to... There. Oh, I can not believe it. The criminal's supposed to fix this thing. That's twice I've had to take that back now because it was too sensitive. Can't tell me there isn't something wrong somewhere with your car arm set up by a bird dropping. <laughs> well, that's their rations, Denny Schwitz. Any more... Feel pieces of toast, I'll go into the dustbin. <laughs> What's this packet of Bisto doing in here? What? What's this packet of Bisto doing in the medicine cabinet? How do I know what it's doing? I can't even see it. <laughs> Bring that carriage in the morning, that'll be the first job. Why is nothing in life ever simple? What is it that makes that last teaspoon cling for dear life to the bottom of the washing up bowl every night? <laughs> and you pour the water away, even if you haven't used the bloody teaspoon, there's always one that appears from somewhere. <laughs> Will you just go to sleep? Mysteries of the universe. <laughs> 
time and space, life and death, Mike, Hope, and I'll be keen. I don't get to hear any more about them. Time. When you think about it, nothing ever exists, in fact. I was working this out in the post office till I was ready for that woman to finish twanging her elastic bands. <laughs> the future doesn't exist because it hasn't happened yet. The past doesn't exist because it's already over. But the present doesn't exist because as soon as you start to think about it, it's already in the past. <laughs> Which doesn't exist anymore. Like that moment just then when I said that. That's already in the past. <laughs> Gone forever. And so is that when I just said, gone forever. And so is that when I said it so is that. That's gone forever now as well. And so is that when I said that's gone forever now as well. That's gone forever now as well. Oh, for God's sake, will you shut up, Victor? Shattering on there all the way like a rabid parrot. Now I'm wide awake. Thank you very much. What time is it? Are we in the single European market yet? <laughs> Quarter past three. Oh. <coughs> Finish this crossword. That usually sends me off. So an old friend of yours today came into the shop with a wilting hibiscus, Charlie Maysfield. Oh, yes. I haven't seen him in ages. How is he getting on? He's fine. Did he ask how I was? No. <laughs> well, not as such. What do you mean, not as such? Well, he seemed to be under the impression you were dead. <laughs> In fact, we had quite an argument about it. <coughs> he was absolutely convinced he died last year during Wimbledon fortnight. He said he remembers it was the same day Jimmy Connors got knocked out so he was doubly shocked. <laughs> I said, no, no, I think you must be getting him mixed up with someone else, but he wouldn't have it. You know, people that age, they get something into their head and they won't budge. He said he distinctly remembered you'd asked to have your ashes scattered across the floor in allied carpets. <laughs> Get your own back. <laughs> to be honest, I think he's going a bit, um, yeah. So in the end, just to keep the peace, I agreed with him. I said, now you come to mention it, you're right, he is dead. <laughs> he went off then, happy as a sand boy. <laughs> oh, and then, talk about an afternoon for characters. We had Broad Maud come in just after lunch with all her latest problems. Broad Maud? Mm -hmm. She's the one that always carries her own toilet seat about with her. <laughs> in the Tesco's carrier bag. Frightened stiff of public lavatories. Frightened stiff of everything. You know, takes it all to heart. Everything she reads in the papers and sees on the news. Salmonella, hysteria, poisonous algae, man-eating fungus that comes up through the drains. <laughs> man-eating fungus? She says she saw it on the news, but I reckon it was Doctor Who. I think they all start to blur in her mind in the end. It was her late husband had that morbid fear of giant spiders. Every time he heard the cat flap go, he used to break out into a cold sweat. <laughs> yes. Well, can you imagine carrying your own toilet seat about everywhere with you? <laughs> must be a bit of a handicap. <laughs> what does she do when she's got two bags of shopping? Wear it round her neck. <laughs> I'm still wide awake. Oh, perhaps I'll make a milky drink. Do you want one? Oh, yes, I suppose so. Might as well. Try anything. Put a drop of rum in it. Oh, God. Perhaps if I read something, that would help. What have we got? 
A Brief History of Time, or the Autobiography of Reg Varney. <laughs> Bloody book clubs. <laughs> I know what I could do. I could open last year's Christmas present from Ronnie and Mildred. <laughs> To dearest Victor, just a little something to wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 1990 from Ronnie and Mildred. No, I'm not that bored yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, still not straight. That's got it, that's straight. <laughs> Four, two, nine, one. What? Yes, it is straight. <laughs> what do you mean, not from where you're standing? <laughs> you can't see from right across the road, I know. Hey, what are you doing up at this time of the... Oh, can't you? Yes, I'm sorry about that. They're supposed to have fixed it, but you know what it's like with garages. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I hope you do too. Good night. <laughs> the rest of that milk was off, so I had to use powdered and we're out of rum. Hmm. God, this tastes revolting. <laughs> you know, came through the front door. There's several Olympic pole vaulters supposed to swear by it. <laughs> well, that shampoo makes my hair all dry. I won't use that again. Which one's that? Oh, it's another new one on the market. That came through the front door as well. <laughs> This is where they don't have a sales push on for motorcycles. We have a Harley Davidson coming through the front door, <laughs> mowing us all to the ground when we came down for breakfast. A man from the local pet shop is coming around this morning, delivering free trial offer chihuahuas, <laughs> hammering them through people's litter boxes with a large mallet. <laughs> I expect we'll get ours tomorrow. Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, God, my legs started twitching now. <laughs> I wonder when that was going to happen. Oh, was shaking about like a Morris dancer. <laughs> All you need to do is put a couple of bells in the end of it. Oh, I can't stop it. It's always the same when my muscles get tense. Here we go. Ministry of Silly Wolf. <laughs> oh. 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 It's no laughing matter if you had to put up with it. <laughs> you don't take enough exercise. That's your problem. Too much sitting around all day. Sitting around fretting about everything under the sun. No wonder you end up all on edge. <laughs> can't so much as suck a polo without crunching it. <laughs> you can't. Go right through the entire packet like a beaver in one of those old cartoons. <laughs> oh, I think I could stick it in the air. Stretch it and stop the trembling. Oh, that's better.
Work with that garbage tomorrow, you see if I don't. Leave your car in for three days and it do nothing. Probably using it to go about joyriding in. I swear I could smell seaweed from that air filter. <laughs> Victor, what on earth's that you've got on your foot? Yeah. one night market I have straight. I was just getting off then as well. Just getting to sleep and dreaming. Dreaming this really strange dream. It emptied all the water out of Loch Ness to see if there was any monsters. <laughs> when the lake was completely empty, there, lying in the mud, was this giant 60 foot long teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. I think that's got the worst of it out. Oh, I should watch where you're treading the next time. Oh, God. We're not going to get any sleep tonight of any kind. Why don't you just bring the laboratory in here? All right. If you go on like this, you'll be as dehydrated as that hedgehog. <laughs> Remember what happened to the wicked witch of the West? Bloody night long, I might as well have taken that jaws and might watch me. <laughs> yeah, they did it, I mean, for the pittance they were offering. What is the wrecking you live on? I was thinking the other day that I might apply for the job as a Duchess of York. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me a profession with a certain amount of security. <laughs> Don't get made redundant. Minus few workers you can do without. But you know that York will always need a Duchess. <laughs> Stop it grinding to a complete standstill. One of the few certainties in life. I could almost do my sitting guilds and grinning. <laughs> <coughs> do you remember the first time we ever slept together? How could I forget? That bloody dripping tap. <laughs> that kept us awake half the night, if you recall. You hogged the bed. Who did? You did, sweeping diagonally across the bed from corner to corner. I used to think it was romantic in those days, having your right elbow up my nose. Why didn't you move me then? Because I wasn't sitting at the controls of a bulldozer at the time. <laughs> I did contemplate jabbing you in the backside of the hat pin, but I didn't want to wake that baby at number 43. I wouldn't think twice about it today. I don't remember ever hogging the bed. And you used to suck your thumb in your sleep. When did I? For the first three years we were married. Some nights you used to suck my thumb. <laughs> You've never told me about this before. Talk about a late developer at the age of 26. <laughs> if you've ever wondered why you've got stumpy thumbs, now you know. And you used to cuddle the hot water bottle as well, pretending it was a teddy bear. We did nothing of the sort. I remember it burst one night. Well, that's because you kept pressing it in the middle, trying to make it squeak. <laughs> do we have to go on about this? And I do not have stumpy thumbs. <laughs> anyway, you used to talk in your sleep. You used to sing in your sleep. <sighs> I'm lying there, just dozing off, and what did I hear? Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of David Whitfield, and then three minutes of Cara Mia Mine. <laughs> 
And if you'd had a lump of cheese for your supper, we used to get a selection from Eddie Calvert as well. <laughs> Cherry blossom pink being snored through a trumpet. Look, can we just drop this subject now then, please? Well, you brought it up. Yes, I'm sorry I did. Cherry blossom pink. Maybe next door came round one night to ask if the cat had got his tail stuck in the mango. <laughs> I think that we drop it. <sighs> oh, God. There it is. Can you hear it? The rattle of distant milk bottles. <laughs> That's the beginning of the end now. We might as well get up and put the kettle on. <sighs> I saw that advert again today. Buy the Daily Mail because you can read it without getting ink in your fingers. <laughs> By that token, you might as well have a cup of bleach for your breakfast because it doesn't stay in the teapot. <laughs> Some papers these days, I don't know, especially the one your mother reads. Mm, she says she likes it because it's conservative with a small C. Yes. I believe Joseph Goebbels was a Nazi with a small N. <laughs> Can you imagine if the history books have been written the same way as the newspapers are written? 1215, King John signs the Magna Carta. 1216. King John showed a shapely ankle when the wind blew up his cloak at Runnymede, sparking off rumours that he might be in a super new low calorie diet. <laughs> Potty Panker sat it again. The slaughter of the innocents. No British baby is believed to be involved. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Sorry. Right. Burkling on as usual, the first thing that came into my head, you don't know what you're saying. I know. I do it myself sometimes. <sighs> I was thinking about him just this morning, funnily enough. Running into Guinness outside the post office with Michael. She had him just the four days before, if you remember. She was coming out of hospital just as I was going in. He's still working for that insurance company. They told him about moving him to his own branch up north somewhere. She'll miss him. She never had any others. He just bought his mum an ice cream when he was going to run her up to the doctors. It hasn't seen five minutes since it was the other way round. I always think of Stuart when I see him. God, he's enormous now. His eldest girl's just starting at the secondary. I wonder what he would have gone into. I wonder if he'd have gone into insurance. Not if I did my way. You make so many plans for your life when you're young. I don't know what I imagined I'd be doing when I was 55. <laughs> Seemed like so far in the future it had never happened. A year was an eternity when you were a child. The time between one Christmas and the next? Yes, about two months now. <laughs> draping tinsel over the Easter eggs before long. <laughs> Why can't they let you live your life at your own speed? Oh, God, I knew it wouldn't be long before he started. Who? That bloody sparrow. <laughs> What's he got to be up so early for? Shut up! <laughs> One of these days I'm going to sneak up to his nest when he's asleep with a Welsh male voice choir. Three choruses of men of Harlech would have him laughing on the other side of his neck. <laughs> God, hardly worth coming to bed for all the rest I've had. I mean, what's the point of it? Get in each night feeling as right as rain by the time I can have it. You're absolutely terrible. <laughs> Pure ritual. It's like life, I suppose. What the point is in living? It doesn't seem to get you anywhere, does it? I know. What's that, Sarah? He seems happy enough. And all he ever does is eat bits of burnt toast and a few worms. He's still got plenty to sing about, obviously. Yes. I wonder what his secret is. Perhaps it is his diet. breakfast tomorrow we're out of milk. Mm. Out of powdered. We're also out of porridge. <laughs> ah. ah. Well, I'll have something different. What? 
Mm, I think I might try worms and toast for a change. <laughs> we'll open a new can in the morning. Yes, we always seem to. I say I'm not as well, face the truth. But I am just too wrong in it too. I started to deteriorate. And now I've passed my own cell by day. Oh, I am no spring chicken, it's true. I have to pop my teeth into chew. And my old knees have started to knock. I've just got too many miles on that clock. So I'm a wrinkly, wrinkly, set in my ways. It's true that my body has seen better days. But give me off a chance and I can still misbehave. One foot in the grave. One foot in the grave. One foot in the grave. 